Hi and welcome to this 2010 BMW 330 diesel touring. This particular car is finished in titanium silver, it's a metallic colour and complemented with black leather interior. The condition of the car is absolutely beautiful. Starting from this side, no dents or scratches to really speak about. Been really really well looked after. Back of the car, also in really nice condition. No marks. And the driver's side is the same. Now the car itself is actually done just over 60,000 miles. You would normally expect to see quite a fair few stone chips on, the, on a car for that sort of age. Um, and whilst obviously there are the odd mark and chip here and there, it really is nothing, nothing excessive at all. In fact, it's very, very difficult for the camera to pick anything up. I think there's a small chip there. But generally speaking, all in fantastic condition. Glass is all good. No nasty chips there at all. Mirror housing all good. Nothing really to highlight that uh, that I wouldn't expect you to see when you came to have a look at the car. Again, all alloy wheels are pretty good. I think there's a couple of very, very small, tiny chips to point out to you. Almost impossible, but the camera's just about picking them up. Tires all in fantastic condition as well. Rear bumpers all in excellent condition. These often get marks and things like that on the on the uh, loading area, but again, all very very good on this particular car. And just down to the driver's wheel to show you that as well. Just show you the back seats. Again all in fantastic condition, no rips or tears in any of the leather. Seats all lovely, as are the door cards. All very nice. On these cars you actually get the split tailgate which is a really nice option actually so it just means you can pop the glass on the top rather than having to open the full, the full tailgate. They've had a, a uh, protective load liner in the boot to keep the carpet all nice. But again, all in really, really nice condition. All the plastics in here have been saved from any scratches. Load cover in place. Jumping inside. And you can see the condition of the leather again in the front is it very, very good. Driver's seat, very, very little wear to any of the bolsters. Very, very good indeed, in fact. Let's jump in and show you some of the specification. So in terms of specification on the car, you have uh, dual zone climate control, passenger and, and driver, independent controls there for the heating 
and also three stage heated seats as well. This car is also fitted with the professional media package. This gives you the iDrive controller down here on the on the front centre and the widescreen sat nav and media centre up here. Full European mapping with traffic displays, all the controls for the radio, a CD and DVD player, music collection which is a hard, hard drive storage area which means you can download CDs directly into the system and uh, play back directly from there, an auxiliary socket uh, for, for iPods or telephones. And then moving here to the vehicle information area where we can get the vehicle status um, and find out more about the servicing levels that, uh, that the car um, is going to need in the future. So as you can see the first thing that would need to be done um, is actually not until April next year which is a brake fluid service. Following on from that is actually the, um, the MOT which has just been done in November this year so um, not due until November next year. The engine oil service is not due for 17,000 miles or until October 2019. Vehicle check 2021, rear brake pads at 25,000 miles and front brake pads at 28,000 miles. So really apart from a brake fluid service in April there's nothing really for you to do until uh, till the latter part of 2018. Further specification on this car, you have the cruise control, paddle shift gear change for the automatic gearbox, multi-function settings for the, for the, on the steering wheel for all of your audio, automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers and power folding door mirrors um, which are set on the button down here. You can also have that linked to the key so when the car locks the, uh, the mirrors fold in automatically. Nice option for London and you also have rear parking sensors on this car um, which comes up with an individual display as can be seen here. I hope that you found this video useful. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you require any further information on this beautiful car. Uh, all the information is available on our website which is influencecars.co.uk. Thanks again.